distributor's just not gonna accept your film if you don't have these things. So I'm gonna break this down into three sections, digital delivery, legal delivery, and then marketing. So before I dive in, um, I'm Alexi Uzas, I'm a film producer and owner of Exile Entertainment, a production company based in Australia. We've produced eight features in the last six years. We've helped a bunch more get financed uh, and I make these videos to help you make your debut feature film um, or your feature film after you've made that first one and you're trying to raise the budget and the quality of those films. So let's start with del uh, digital delivery. So number one on the list is you're gonna need a ProRes and or DCP of the film. So this is something that's pretty easy to output now for a post-production company, but you just wanna make sure that whoever is doing post-production, particularly if it's a lower budget or micro budget or no budget film, um, is able to do that. So that's it for the picture requirements. It's pretty simple. In terms of audio, you need to send WAV files of a 5.1 full mix, 5.1 MNE, so music and effects, uh, dialogue, music and effects stems, and a complete soundtrack of all music in the film. So again, for your sound designer, make sure that they go into um, that work on your film knowing that that's what, the, that's what they're going to need to deliver at the end. And that's really important because some de sound designers might not actually cost that up for you, but you need to make sure that that's in and that's included in their quote right at the start. Same goes for the post company that's outputting the picture. So digital delivery is actually pretty simple, right? Like that's all there is to it, um, but you just need to make sure that the people doing the work know that. In terms of legal deliverables, um, there's a few more things that you need to include. So the first one is you need all your chain of title documents. If you don't know what they are, I'll include a link um, in this video so that you can check out another video that I've done on chain of title. But you're gonna need all those documents in place. You may even need um, what's called a solicitor's opinion or a chain of title opinion. And that's like a letter that's prepared by your lawyer that's saying that says that there is a clean chain of title. Next one is you'll need a billing block and your main front and end credits for the film. So make sure you have all those in place. There's a great software uh, at the moment called Endcrawl that you can use um, that makes that a lot easier and a lot more simple to do. Next is you'll need to supply any logos that you're gonna include um, in the film, particularly uh, at the front if there's any eye dents. Um, you wanna, you're going to need to include those in the delivery. Any licensing agreement, so any type of like music licensing that you're doing, um, archival footage, anything like that, you've got to make sure that those agreements are in there. You will need E&O insurance. So E&O insurance stands for Errors and Emissions Insurance, and every distributor or sales agent is going to require that you have this, and the cost for that starts at around $4,000 US, right? So it is quite expensive, and it's important that you know if you're gonna sell your film, you need that insurance in place. As part of the e and insurance, you're also gonna need to get what's called a title report, and that costs around f uh, 1,500 US. So you just wanna make sure that you know that those are costs that are coming if you do sell your film, but you don't need to incur those costs if you don't sell it or if you self-distribute the film, um, you can of course take the risk not to have that insurance in place. And then finally, you'll need to supply a dialogue list um, and any captions and subtitles. So that's it for legal delivery, so a bit more involved there. And of course, these deliverables can change depending on the distributor or the sales agent. Um, but what I'm giving you here is basically like the fundamentals or the foundations that most are gonna ask for. So third is marketing. So they're gonna want a number of stills. The number can change again, depending on the distributor or the sales agent. Um, but to be safe, you want at least 50 um, really high quality stills from the film. Um, the next one is poster and trailer. So most of them will ask for this, but you can, um, some of them will actually prepare their own trailer and poster as well. So this is something that if you have the budget to create a trailer and poster, then I would include it in your production budget so that it's available if you need it. 
if for whatever reason you don't have the budget to create a trailer and a poster, um, then it is something that you can basically push that onto the sales agent or the distributor to create. Um, and sometimes they're gonna go and do that anyway, even if you supply them with your own material. So it is a cost that I think if budget is limited, um, you can actually just not include that cost. And then when you sell the film, just tell them that, you know, they need to cut the trailer and post up. What they'll do is they will um, incur the cost of doing that and then they'll recoup that cost as they start to make money. So those are, in my view, the like absolute essentials that you need. And so it's important that you know these things as you're kind of going through production or as you're setting the production up. So for example, it's good to know that you need stills so that you have a stills photographer on set. Um, it's good to know that you're gonna need all those chain of title documents so that you make sure going into production, you have a lawyer on board and you're getting everyone to sign agreements. So that's it for the video. If you've got any questions about any of the items that I mentioned or the terminology that I'm using, make sure you drop those questions in the comments section below. And if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, get notified when we post videos, and I will see you on the next one.